Well, I have Greg Higgs here, and we're at Fab Fours. And you know, I'm so impressed because in a short amount of time, Fab Fours has become pretty much a household name. I mean, you guys have a huge following. Yeah, this is our 11th year here, and uh, you can tell whatever you're spying in the booth, we just have a different approach to all of this. I noticed that. Okay, so this truck, it's kind of like, it reminds me of like a lion truck. Is that what I'm seeing? You're pretty close. So okay. the Chimera, which I actually got a little graphic here. Nice. You know, it's, in mythology, it had the head of a lion, head of a goat, tail of a serpent. Trying to pick a name for a truck like this is hard, but it just came to us one day because here you go, you got a Chevy truck with a Dodge motor, with military axles, with trophy truck shocks. It's just the combination of all those genres. And it That's it. a lot going on. Okay, now tell me if I'm mistaken. I don't see any of your products. I don't even see any bumpers on this truck. So what's up with that? So that's just how we roll. You know, Fab Fours, we really have hit the top of the niche of the bumper space. Okay. And we have a real loyal following out there of jobbers. Mm -hmm. And that's what this show is all about. You know, educating jobbers, showing them the new products. Okay. We feel we've already done that. We don't have to do it at the four days at SEMA. Okay. More so just showing appreciation to them and giving back where they can say, man, I love that brand. I love being a part of that. I believe in Fab Fours. Okay. And this is why. They, those guys are pushing the boundaries of everything. They're always looking forward. The Me Too's follow. Okay. And that's this booth is definitely not like anything on the South Hall. So did you have a big part in designing the truck? It's really the favorite part of my job. Okay. You know, I've been an artistic since I was a kid like to just sketch something that's crazy. And really what's been inspiring me is the low CG, a low roof line, big tall tires. Okay. But to pull that off and have functionality, mm. that's where the engineering comes in. Because to get high travel, but low top, yeah. you gotta clear everything out of the way. So that's what drove us to having a rear engine, which is a twin turbo, 12 valve, Cummins diesel, which is awesome. So for the redneck and everybody, we'll be blowing <laughs> smoke out of it. And then to go with, the full race suspension system. We got Fox coilovers, seven bypass shocks. I mean, things crazy. And then MRAP axles so that they're not going to break. And okay. putting all that together into one, that's back to the whole Chimera theme. It's just a, a mesh of it all. How long did it take? We had 10 months, one guy every single day working on this truck. It's crazy. So I would meet with them. I probably have a couple hundred hours in it myself. Uh, be in his hand, but also talking about the lines, how we're sticking to the sketch, what parts we're going to use, getting the, the chop to the right height, what are we going to do in the bed, you know, what features to keep and what to ditch. It was awesome. Well, the Chimera is definitely the craziest off-road truck I've seen here at SEMA. I mean, we could just see all the people gathering to check it out. So you guys did a great job there. And where can our viewers find out more information about Fab Fours? Well, first, thank you for that. And uh, you can go to fabfours.com, F-A-B. F-O-U-R-S dot com. And we have a build section. So we've already highlighted and have all this waiting for the after the debut, but you can see the little details that these guys get to crawl around and check out here live. All right, you guys, well, more adventures to be had at PowerAutomedia.com.